Lane Bearden kicking off for the Crimson Tide, and we are underway from Tuscaloosa as Prather gets it across the 10, 15, and is cut down at about the 18-yard line. Tide shows blitz on second down and 12 from the 16 of Mississippi State. Mackin with time, and he has a completion and a first down, and a lot of running room as well for Kelvin Love. Jeff Walker out of Grenada, Mississippi, comes on to punt. Freddie Millen's deep. Starkville native playing against his hometown university. And somehow he kept his feet. Actually, they will spot him down back at the 11-yard line. Morgan had it blocked. Partially blocked. And Mississippi State will get great field position. Actually, the Tide very fortunate that that ball continued to advance to the Mississippi State 49. But Robert Bean came through and got a hand on it from the eye set. And they will go with the reverse. That is Love looking for a block. Gets one. Has running room inside the Alabama 40. Cut down near the 38-yard line. block and that's Merritt with some running room Miguel Merritt near midfield and Alabama answering the earlier block from Mississippi State getting one of their own and the Tides in business near midfield scoring defense allowing just 12 points per game and fewer than 145 yards per game through the air as well Alabama will go up top that's McCadley inside the 30 finally brought down from behind by Tim Nelson Ryan Flugner, 7 of 10 for the year, as you see, along of 45. That will spot this one right at the 30. So a 40-yard attempt from the foot of Ryan Flugner from the far hash. Ty trying to get on the scoreboard first. Flugner's kick is up. The kick is good. And Alabama does draw first blood. 3-0 with 3 minutes, 44 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. See if Alabama comes after Walker this time. They are, but he still gets it off. A low, wobbly kick that Millens will field on the run. And again, great coverage by Mississippi State. This time making the stop for the Bulldogs is Eugene Clinton. See if the dogs come after him or not. And Morgan gets off a high spiraling kick. Prather will take it and lose the football, but gets it back right at the Bulldog 30-yard line. Second and 10 from just inside the 30 once more with a second to go. This will be the last play, barring a penalty, and Mackin going for it all. He's got Love down there, and it's caught inside the 20 at the 16-yard line. On play action, here comes the blitz. They pick it up and complete the pass inside the five near the three-yard line. Nice throw, and then a great run afterwards by Justin Griffith, the fullback. This ought to be just war inside the five. Instead, State goes with play action to the air. Touchdown, Bulldogs. On the throw from Wayne Matkin to Rod Gibson. Again, going to the fullback. And State has their first lead of the afternoon. You see the total yards of the game thus far absolutely dominated by Mississippi State. The quick out to Millens. He's got a little room across the 25 and run out of bounds there and running into Jackie Sherrill who takes a tumble, but he's taken much harder licks on this Bryant-Denny Stadium turf. The Mississippi State has really been putting the clamps on the Tide's offense. Zal with plenty of time looking for Alexander out of the backfield. He has him inside the 40 of Mississippi State. First down, Alabama in Bulldog territory. As you see the receiving numbers this year for Sean Alexander, very impressive. An added dimension to his game on the reverse. Millens needs a block, got one from Samuels. He's got running room inside the 20 and pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line by Pig Prather. Big third down for Alabama. They need to get to the third, to the three-yard line to pick up the first. Zao, heavy pressure, unloads it, and it is almost intercepted. There is a flag on the play. The early rumblings show that it's against Mississippi State. But let's wait to see. It is. You see the time on the clock in the corner of your screen. Alexander inside the five at the goal line and in. Touchdown, Alabama. 
That ball was definitely knocked loose. That's proof. But a break for Mississippi State. See if they can convert. Oh, a lot of running room on the screen pass. Boy, did that work. Justin Griffith, the fullback. So second, short six, long five, depending how you measure it. Madkin, not a lot of time. Another flag on the play. And the pass is incomplete. Holding defense. Penalty 10 yards from the previous spot. An automatic first down. Jeff Walker on to punt once more for the Bulldogs. High, beautiful, spiraling kick. Millen's calling for the fair catch. And a nice decoy there by Millens as the ball goes into the end zone. From the shotgun, Zal looking for Buchanan, and he hits him for another first down for Alabama as he is driven back. Second and long for the Tide, so Zal will go from the shotgun. Looking to the near side, that's Millens with room. Across the 45, across midfield. Deep in Mississippi State territory before Robert Bean upends him. Tim Bowens joining Jason McCadley and Sam Collins to the near side. They will hand it off to AC. There goes the deuce across the 20. A flag on the play. Likely a clip upcoming on Tim Bowens. The flag was thrown right at his feet. Holding on the offense. Yeah. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Third down. It's third and ten for the Crimson Tide. Millen's the wide out to the near side. McCadley up top. Zal under heavy pressure, and he is brought down back near midfield. That one counting for a 14-yard loss. So Patrick Morgan comes on to punt. Beautiful high spiraling kick. The Prather will field on the run inside the 10. He's across the 15 and forced out of bounds. Up near the 25-yard line. They will actually spot him back at the 20. Walker unloads a Whoa. booby spiraling kick driving Millens deep and he will get out of the way of this one and what a break for Alabama the ball hit the helmet of Sean Birdsong who was coming down in coverage and he knocks it into the end zone for a touchback third down and nine for the tie Zao again looking to go up top heavy pressure and now he will unload it, and it's intercepted. Baron Simpson making the pick at the 31 of Alabama. The Bulldogs right now are thinking six. Mackin again with play action. Griffin giving heavy pressure. Up top for Love. It is intercepted. Reggie Miles with the pick. See if Alabama will sit on it. They will give it to Alexander. He looks for running room and looks to stay in bounds. Flag comes flying in. Two, now three flags. Wouldn't expect Sean to celebrate from two yards. The face mask. A five-yard penalty from the end of the line. Clock just now at 10, however. That's Bohannon. We'll take the handoff. We're looking for running room across the 30, and he may have the first down. I believe he does. Well, they do send McCadley and Millens up top. They will keep it safe going to Bohannon. Sean sports through. And that will likely do it for the first half. Clock at 10 seconds. Mike DuBose ready to head for the locker room with a final seven ticks. And not a stellar first half for either team, but anytime you go to the dressing room with an advantage, you have to be somewhat pleased. Mike DuBose squad does have the 10-7 lead over Jackie Sherrill's bunch out of Starkville, Mississippi. Three-point tight advantage here at halftime. We'll be back. First half highlights on College Sports Southeast. Not Patrick, a good start. Patrick Morgan on to punt for the Crimson Tide. It's away an ice kick. That will send Prather back inside his 25. Finally brought down. Deep pitch, picking up nice yardage into Alabama territory as on the carry was Chris Rainey. Four punts, a 51.3 yard per punt average in the first half, aided obviously by a 79-yard kick. Here's another good punt that Millens will take on a fair catch. And
collapses on top of the football right at the 20. With just the flick of the wrist, Morgan's punt. High, booming punt. Sending Prather back inside his 35, but he's got some room. Gets a nice block to spring him into Alabama territory. One man left to beat. He does. And then help comes in in the form of Marvin Brown. But another flag back near the 34-yard line, and this one will likely come back. The Mississippi State 35 moved the chains for the Crimson Tide. Averaging 13 yards per reception on second and seven. Again, the blitz. That's Alexander. Needs a block. Creates room on his own. Inside the 15. Finally brought down at the 14, but not until he picks up another Alabama first down. And that will bring Ryan Flugner into the game, attempting a 32-yard kick. He made a 40-yarder in the first quarter. And hold again. The kick is up, and the kick is good as well. Now make it 34 58 after that interception. Heavy pressure again, dumps it across the middle. The shoot can't make the tackle. Picking up first down yardage and more for the Bulldogs. Donald Lee. The shoot almost got to that when he blocked one in the first half. Millens will just let this one hit. And a nice bounce for Mississippi State. McCadley and Millen's First down, Freddie Millens at the Crimson Tide 16-yard line. Again, Andrew Zal from the shotgun. And again, the blitz from Mississippi State. Diving catch made by Carter, but it will be about a yard and a half shy of the first down mark. Rush, but Morgan gets it off kick. He takes an Alabama bounce. And Prather will let this one roll. And it's a good roll for Alabama. Down at the 21-yard line. This is a low driving kick. The Bills will take inside his 35. He's got a little room across the 45. And brought down near midfield. But excellent field position for Alabama. Sean Draper in the game as a tight end. They will actually move him to the slot in place of the injured Terry Jones Jr. at tight end. Alexander looking for him. Bouncing his way to about the 43-yard line of Mississippi State. McClintock, the fullback. Antonio Carter. Shamar Buchanan, the wide up the McClintock near the first down mark as he approaches the 40-yard line of the Bulldogs. Third and 11 for the time. Back at the state 31. First down inside the 20-yard line. Speaks to about the 17, and that will move the chains for Alabama. Third and long, third and nine. The first down mark just shy of the seven. Second sack of the game by Mississippi State. A 40-yard field goal, a 32-yard field goal. This one would be 41 yards. The snap coming from right there. The hole is by the The kick is up. The kick is no good. Flugner just missing. This is the guy that usually pulls him out. That way. Only one of six, though, on the afternoon, including the kick. by Marcus Spencer. Oh, no doubt about that. They're much better than they were in the season. Second and seven. Wyatt with time. Unloading it to Dante Walker. Now the territory down at the 44-yard line. Again, it's Belcher and Butler to the far side. Again, Kelvin Love. The Wyatt to the near side of the field with Walker, the long side. Wyatt with time. Brought down. First sack of the day by Alabama. Again, State one of seven. Third down conversions today. Wyatt from the gun. Looking for Ray. Brian chasing it. Now Kenny King chasing it. Wyatt unloads the football. It's incomplete. And another flag.
because the quarterback had moved beyond the line of scrimmage when he unloaded the football. Seven punts, better than 46 yards per kick today. Justin McClintock, the fullback. Sean Alexander, the tailback. Sean the Driving his way near first down yardage at the Alabama 46. State will come after him now. The Mississippi State 40-yard line. Another reception for five or more yards. That will put him over the season mark for four times this season. The season's out. Looking for it all. He's got you, Cannon. Ten, five, touchdown, Alabama. Collins, Bowens, McCadley to the near side. Alexander along second. Likely the toughest test that State has faced thus far. Nationally ranked Alabama. Drawn by Victor Ellis. Don't do it, Victor. Second and 20 from just across the 25. Wyatt, again, forced out of the pocket. Looking for help. Finds none. Another sack by Kendall Moorhead. Welcome. Forty-five. Good high kick. Field it at the twenty. Return to the twenty-three. Second down and eight from the twenty-two. Bulldogs needing to go seventy-eight yards for a score. Griffin hit by Horn and then staggering forward. From the shotgun on second and short. Mackey. Throws. Complete. Near midfield. For the first down. State leading two possessions. As you see, trailing by 12. Clock under a minute now. Mackey again underneath. And intercepted. Darius Gilbert. 35. And brought down at the 30 of Mississippi State. And I believe you can put a capper on this one. The Bulldogs about to lose for the first time this season. Alabama's seniors get a chance to go out to winners in their final home game in Tuscaloosa. More importantly, they move to 6-1, and one, now matching Mississippi State with that 6-1 and one mark. And a win next Saturday on the Plains of Auburn would give Alabama another SEC Western Division crown and a chance at the Southeastern Conference Championship. All of that is very, very good. Uh, winning the West and going to the SEC Championship, but nothing will compare to the euphoria that will be held by Alabama fans if they can beat Auburn at Auburn. Not to, mention, not to mention the euphoria enjoyed by yourself, exactly. Doug Light. Game is over. Mike Dubose. Heading to the locker room victorious for the 19th time in three years as the Alabama head coach. Crimson Tide did it with defense and a workmanlike offense today, Doug Layton, pulling off the 19-7 victory. Absolutely. Uh, and in the second half, when it really came time to uh, put it on the griddle, Alabama did just that. Final score once again, Alabama 19, Mississippi State 7, the Bulldogs falling for the first time this season.